Congressional candidates get down to business. Good evening. I'm Kenny Choi. Yunji Denise has the night off. Charles Deju and Mark Takai facing off in a forum tonight. Our Paul Drew is just back from that exchange, and we understand that tonight the candidates focused on finances and Hawaii's future. Paul. Well, Kenny, they talked dollars and cents in the hopes their message made fiscal sense to business leaders. This forum also gave them a chance to show off their differences. Deju and Takai made their best pitch to Hawaii's business leaders. I'll continue to protect Hawaii's interests as a member of Congress. I'm ready to hit the ground running on day one. The Chamber of Commerce, Hawaii, held this forum to give the candidates a chance to weigh in on the most important issues for businesses in the state. Definitely want to hear how the candidates, if elected, will stimulate the economy. What are the, some of their ideas, their plans to ensure that Hawaii's economy continues to improve? The two candidates know tourism is the number one industry and pledge to expand visa waiver programs if elected. That could draw in even more tourists. They also support Hawaii's second biggest industry, the military. Both candidates are military veterans, around the same age with prior state legislative experience. So the question was asked, how are they different? Mark, I think you drive a Nissan, right? I drive a Honda. I think, yeah. <laughs> the two candidates are different on their fiscal objectives for Congress. Takai wants expansion, while Deju wants reduction. Government today needs to work on ways of developing a bigger, broader economy. Every one of you who runs a small business, the city and county of Honolulu, the state of Hawaii, all have to balance your books. The time has come for the federal government to do the same. The candidates are also on opposite sides when it comes to President Obama's authorization of airstrikes to target the growing threat of the Islamic militant group ISIS. I would, would have joined, were I a member of Congress, joined to support President Obama in his proposal. The war in the Middle East, from my perspective, is really not our war. They also disagreed over whether Hawaii should get an exemption for the Jones Act, which requires American flagged and run ships traveling between two U.S. ports. One of the things I'm committed to doing is getting an exemption for Hawaii from the Jones Act. I do believe that the Jones Act is important. Now, Takai feels the Jones Act encourages competition in the marketplace and protects American interests, while Deju feels the shipping limitation is responsible for driving up the cost of everything here in Hawaii. Now, the candidates also got to question one another about taxes. Takai said sometimes higher taxes are needed to benefit other programs, while Deju said the U.S. government could end up with more revenue if tax rates were lowered because more corporations would stay in America. Kenny?